Welcome back to Life and Style. It's a Tistic Tuesday, and we're on Visual Arts and starting us off as photography. We've got an amazing lady, very young lady, who's doing phenomenal work in terms of photography. Welcome to the show, Charlotte. I said that right. Yes, thank you. <laughs> thank you so much. That's a very unique name, by the way. Thank you. I don't think I've ever heard anyone called that. Really? Do you know anyone else? Yes. You do? Yes. I'm called Mary. I don't see it a lot. Oh, my mom is called Mary, so... Okay, fine, cool. So everyone <laughs> has my name. That's okay. Exactly. <laughs> so you do amazing, an amazing job in terms of photography, and our set is beautiful. Oh, thank you and so much. When you look at this, the one thing you see is uh, beautiful colors and a baby, and you brought a teddy bear. That means you do, you know, baby uh, photography. Yes, for the newborns. Yes, for newborns, newborn. babies, and maternity photography. Okay. Yes. How long have you been doing this? Well, I have been doing this for just a year. Just a year. And why? Like, you could have done anything, you know? <laughs> I know. I know. <laughs> but I then know. you chose this particular one. Yeah. Why? Um, I think it's because with the relationship that I have with kids, I mean, ever since I was young. So with that growing in me, I thought, why not just take it in? in? Just, just go with it. Mm -hmm. Yes. Photography. And the babies, what's the relation? Because one thing you've explained is that you loved babies. And the oh, baby, yes. yes. <laughs> Look at that. Do you have a baby yourself? No, I don't have a baby, but of course, with time. <laughs> You'll definitely have oh, one. Oh, yes, yes, okay. sure. So photography as a passion and mm -hmm. turning that with something that you love to do. Mm -hmm. How did that come about? Uh, as for photography, I started in 2015. But of course, I used to have a camera, but I really didn't know how to go about it. But now I thought, I mean, I used to see all these patterns in the camera and then there's no point if you have a camera and you only use auto. It I doesn't even auto. make sense. I <laughs> so I thought, I mean, I'm not the type where I'll go to YouTube and start learning. So I thought, why not go to school and just learn photography? Oh, you went to school? Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. So from there I kicked it and it has been an amazing journey. And it's all about hard work. It's all about determination, self-discipline. Here we are today. How many years now? Uh, since 2015. That's about two. Yeah, let me say just, um, we oh. haven't really gotten into two. Yeah. yeah. I'll be getting into two in October this year. This is very delicate. Absolutely. This is very delicate Absolutely. because I'm trusting you with my baby. Oh, yes. <laughs> oh, yes. So how do you go about you know, taking care of the baby? What if they cry? And they, they, um, they because they will cry, they'll feel hungry, they want to be changed. First of all, uh, before you even start shooting, you need to have a relationship with the mother. I mean, the best person who can tell you how the kid is, is definitely the mother. True. You need to let the mother feed the kid before you take a shot. You need to let, the, I mean, you need to let the mother change the baby. Mm -hmm. So it's all about you having that relationship and also creating that bond. So before I even start taking a shot, I will just try and create that bond. If it's a newborn, I will definitely want to put them here just so that they can feel my heartbeat, you know? Oh, yeah, I that's mean, so that Yeah, so that they can smell me, you know? I mean, they're basically human beings, so I will put them here. I will want them to feel my heartbeat. I will want them to feel me, and of course, without the perfumes. Yeah. You know, women and perfumes and so some of the things makeup that you need. and... I know. <laughs> no, when you're doing that, you don't really need all that. I mean, because sometimes it might, it might even affect the kid, but and you really don't want that. You really don't want a client to come back and tell you, uh, when you came here uh, after that, my kid was having this and this and this. True. So you try and avoid that and also get immunized in, yes. I mean, that is the way. And also, when you're trying to get the fabrics, you mm -hmm. really need to um, get the very smooth ones so that the babies may not really get a rash. That is a lot. Oh, yes. It is a lot. It's that, passion. It is passion, clearly. <laughs> like, wow, because you don't think about yourself anymore. No. Because normal photography will be like, I'm good. Are you good? Do you have your makeup on? Just stand over there. Let me take click, click, click. But then with the baby photography and newborn photography, yeah. and that, uh, it's, it's not about you anymore. No, this is not even about me. And it has nothing to do with me. This is just me trying to, I mean make the parents feel that they, I mean, you know, just make the, that the parents feel that I have a kid and I just have to embrace my kid. And for you to do that, you just have to create amazing memories. True. Ever, ever had one of those shoots and never gotten, you know, like... No, no. <laughs> you know, you <laughs> no. Like no. they kept looking away, making funny faces. Trust me, 
and kids actually they can be they can be they can be crazy you know i mean a parent will tell you oh my my kid always sleeps from uh, morning to to 11 you know like 11 hours that day when you're going for a shoot the kid decides to just be grumpy so what do you do you be patient how long does it take what's the longest that has taken you to you know capture those amazing memories oh my god i will do this for a lot i mean i will do this a whole day because the thing with me is one baby a whole day it could it could go that long if the baby is grumpy yes yes but i have learned to i have really learned to to just set my limits because why would i spend a whole day with one kid so it's all about i mean hard work you get to learn a kid so before you should definitely you may want to learn the kid and just yeah. know when do they sleep and i mean how is the change of the day you know so when you get to learn that it becomes easy all right yes. so do you prefer them coming to you or do you go to the homes to take this you see like this is a home studio so okay. there is no parent who will want their um their eight days baby to just come to your studio or rather come to your home so you will prefer definitely to just go to them i mean at the comfort of their home you know when they will want to nurse them they feel that uh I mean, I'm easy, I'm, I'm not feeling uncomfortable, so this is my home and here is my baby. So everything is just all right when you're doing it at the comfort of their home. Okay. Yeah. So branding and marketing, because I've not seen so many people do baby, uh, yeah, especially true. newborn photos. True, 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 true. Not so many people are doing this. True. So how do you go about branding and marketing yourself in, to put yourself in a position <sighs> where now people know there's actually this? Actually, it's a very new thing. Yes, Growing it is. Up, I can't remember. I don't know if I have one. Those ones when I can go baskets. Exactly. I know. And then they take a. Tick, tick, tick. So. Mm -hmm. Well, as up? as for the branding, uh, my um my my brand name is called Kitaki Photo Art. I mean, Kitaki is a Japanese name that means a flower, and a flower you can totally relate it with a woman, and a woman you can relate it with a baby. Ah. So you see, it it all goes round, and it comes at the, I mean at one point. So and as for marketing. I'm only on social media for now, and I'm just trying to come up with my um, come up with my website and my logo. So I'm actually going to be launching it very soon, my website and my logo. So for now, I'm just on Instagram, whereby I was not even on Instagram. But you know, when when you hang around with photographers and they're like, "Are you on Instagram?" No. Why are you even a photographer? So I know because <laughs> that's where they that's where it's happening. Yeah, mm -hmm. so with that influence, I, I actually joined uh, Instagram this year. So that is where I am. I try, I really try. I'm not really that person. So I try to just post my photos on Instagram and with Facebook, uh, with my page. I mean, that is where I'm really active on okay. my page. Yes, on my page. That's Kitaki as well. Kitaki, yeah, photo art. All right. Yeah. And uh, location, physical studio? No, 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 no. Not no, yet? No. We're mobile. <clears throat> Mobile, you mobile studio. Yes. Mobile studio, that's really cool. <laughs> yes. That's really cool, but like you said, I wouldn't want to be moving around with my eight year old. Exactly. And I really want to capture them at that time. Absolutely, that and time. as for newborns, you know, I mean, it goes in the range from um, eight days to, to maybe 16 or 20 yeah. days. And then from there now, the kids now, they will start seeing, the kids will start to feel their mother. So that's when now the kids become too grumpy and you don't really want that. But anyway, it all depends. I mean, you can have, I've even done shoots for six years, uh, sorry, six months, mm -hmm. and they're all good. So I, it all just depends. The same, we're all different. Kids are also different. I mean, you don't expect, this kid that you did today will be the same. No. Yeah, you true. don't expect so that. So strictly, this is it. Yeah. There's no way I'm calling you for my wedding. No. Mm. <laughs> As a photographer, no way. No, Keitaki, yeah. Keitaki, that's, that's. That's, that's Keitaki. Yes. Okay. Yeah. The, but they can call you to no. Okay, fine. I get it. No problem. <laughs> so probably, what of advice to all the young people out there who are trying to get into this industry and uh, are thinking probably this is too hard or even never thought about it. And the diff that means there's so much more that people can do that has not yet been discovered. You know the thing is, uh, when you're passionate, mm -hmm. there's nothing you can do. Mm. When you're passionate, there's nothing you can do. But it will be very unfair if. If other people go to like, uh, they will start doing newborns and they're not really passionate, then that means you will definitely, you're not going to handle the kid as per how the kid is supposed to be. So when, when you're passionate, I mean, you know, you will handle that kid as, as you as whether or not you have a kid, you mm -hmm. will definitely. I don't really know, I mean, how I will handle mine, 
but from this experience, now I have an idea. Now I have an idea. Very, very interesting. Thank you so much. And for people who are not on social media, are you comfortable giving out uh, your office number? Uh, yes, yes, okay. yes. Okay. 0713 Okay, say that again. 0713 All right. And how much would a session cost? Mm. Um, like if I want my eight months old, or well, six months, no. I think let's work with eight weeks. <laughs> uh, let's work with eight weeks. So that will depend. If I, I mean, am I going to be carrying my props? Yes. If yes, then I think I will be charging from 15 to 20K. Okay. Yes. How many if, photos are those? Uh, a whole album? Precisely, yes. Okay. I will have an album. I will have a mount printed for the kid. Uh -huh. You will definitely have a session with you son or daughter ah, so it, it's okay. not just it's, it's not ah, even just the baby yeah, alone yeah. you will have a session and you I mean the baby will have a change of clothes with my props and if you will want yours just depends That's how you're really comfortable with yes thank you so much thank it's you been too. interesting talking to you thank you thank okay. you for having me this has been photography still on <laughs> visual arts and moving over to creative of the weekend my set is lit yeah, it's uh, looking very beautiful. We've got pillows everywhere. Thank you. How are you on? Fine, fine, thank you. Thank you so much for coming. Thank you for having me. Wow, they look so good. Thank you. And so puffy. <laughs> Dream big, little one. <laughs> wow, maybe uh, before I get super excited, yes. you can tell us a little bit more about yourself. Uh, my name is Anne, mm -hmm. Anne Kemaita. Uh, the business is called Kayla Interiors. So it's all about expressing yourself as a person, as an as an a loved one, as a mom. Express yourself using the pillows. Express yourself using the pillows. Yes. How interesting is that? Very interesting. Very, very interesting. I would never let there's so many ways that people express themselves. Yes. But I've never had <laughs> anyone say that I need to express myself using a pillow. All I need to do is just you know like hold it mm -hmm. sleep on it but we need the pillows yes we use them on our seats in the cars At in the bed exactly yeah so what are, what was your inspiration what's the inspiration behind this um at first you know there are times when you'd want to communicate to someone whether your child or your boyfriend or your husband but you want a, an emotional an emotional expression that will forever remain fair not just by words you know mm. so that's when i thought oh, why, why not about use pillows yes very very interesting so how do you go about it and the messages um most of my clients actually they have an idea of what they want to say like during the valentines i, I had a lot of clients uh, it was all about i love you will you marry me and all that birthdays they have their own birthday messages but i can also advise you then I'll, i use fiber pure fiber that's why it's so cushy yes oh yes then i first use the um, cotton a cotton material that I'm going to use as the pillow, uh, the pillow <laughs> holder. Oh, yes. Okay. So I'll stuff the fiber inside. Then I will sew it. Then I'll now make a pillowcase. So for example, let me use uh, this. So the pillowcase, it has to be cotton. So whatever mm. wording or artwork or a photo that you want to be here, that you want it I here. I can have a photo of myself there. Yes, not just one, but a series. Let's say you can say when five years ago, your photo here, three years ago here, the current you here, when you with your loved one, whether in Mombasa here, here, you will express everything. Okay. Uh -huh. Yes, so I'll make the pillowcase. The shape, it doesn't really have to be the, it, the kind of a shape that you want. It doesn't really have to be what is the norm. And th this process takes you how long? Uh between 24 hours to 72 hours a day to three days a day to three days yes for this yes and how do you go about even the messages because I've, I've gone to your page on 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 instagram yes and on facebook as well and you've got so many different uh, messages on those uh, on those pillows D is this something that uh, do they order for these things or are you just creative in your own way to just okay most of the main clientele 
will meal. Yes, uh -huh. will tell me, just come up with something. You're a lady, you'll be creative. <laughs> but the female uh, clientele, they're more specific. They know what they want. So you can, if you have a wedding, I will, I can, I'll just take it and do it for you. But if you need help, I'll assist. Okay. Yes. And um, branding, and this is a very, very unique kind of thing to do. Sure. And the one thing that people would definitely like to know is how do you sell this as a business you know and why would I want to have this instead of just a normal pillow that I can just get anywhere the first thing that would make you choose let's say this kind of a pillow and I love the colors thank it's you so mm -hmm. um, first let's start with the pillowcase definitely it is cotton so if you're going to use it to your child it is not going to irritate their skin Secondly, you'll get a variety of colors. It is going to be unique. It's custom made just for you. You will not go to someone else's house and find it. The wordings, you will not wash it and have it remove, uh, come out. This won't come out? Not at all. Okay. Not at all. Um, so that is the pillowcase. You can decide to have it different shapes. It doesn't have to be the throw size pillow. You can decide to have the love, the emoji size for your baby and all that. So when you go now to the pillow itself, again, the material used is cotton. So even if you remove this, can I remove? Yeah. So if I decide to remove this, it's clean, it's fiber. Mm. You still place it. It still look decent in the house, even though you've gone to actually wash this. Oh, very, very interesting. Exactly. Very, very interesting. How long have you been doing this, Anne? Um, From October last year. October last year? Yes. Uh, what happened? What were you doing before that? Employed, but now it is full-time business. <laughs> and do you brand other things apart from just pillows? Yes, mm -hmm. breastfeeding pillows. Do we um, have some of those ones here? Not yet. Here okay. I've just delivered to a client. Mm -hmm. Pregnancy pillows too. Which ones are those ones? The ones that are C shaped. C shaped. The one, they're yeah, very long. Exactly. Then they have them between the legs and then you just hug it. Perfectly, yes. You make those ones as well. I also make that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I did you know, I, I think I saw that on your page because I don't think I had seen anything like that before. <laughs> <laughs> so there's that, there's the uh, breastfeeding the pillow. The breastfeeding pillow, then that you put it here so that you can hold your baby and the baby can be comfortable as they are breastfeeding. Okay. Uh, yes. And you do this all by yourself or have you employed now people to help uh, you? Right now I'm all by myself. It's a full-time job. But I hope uh, to actually employ more and more when the job becomes overwhelming. <laughs> <laughs> so, so far, no, not yet. You can, you, you're able to handle the uh, delivery, the production. Yes. The oh, branding. the production. I have two people actually who help me with the production. Okay. Yes. With the fiber, the stitching. Um, the, uh, the professional design and artwork. Mm. Oh yeah, yeah. Because this exactly yeah. someone who is professional and uh, to do this one for you. Yes. So on Facebook, uh, Instagram, and uh, and Twitter. Are you on Twitter? Yes, I'm on Twitter. That's your major places where you sell, or do you have a physical uh, place where people can? Mainly right now it's online. Mm -hmm. uh, people order through Facebook, my Facebook page, or at Kayla Interiors in Facebook, Instagram, Nita Kemaita. Nita. Nita. Oh, Nita Kemaita. Yes. Yeah, Nita Kemaita. Nita so Kemaita. it's Kyla, the one, the, the one that's written on the. Yes. This is Kyla. Kyla, like that. Yes. Kyla Interiors. On all social media platforms? Yes. Okay. Yes. Very, very interesting. So we need to finish this conversation. Maybe <laughs> a word of encouragement to everyone out there who'd like to start something and they're not sure how it's going to go. Mm -hmm. Because you quit employment to go out there and make pillows. Imagine. <laughs> you know? And yes. whoever thought that it would be so beautiful and probably, yeah, for them when you told them at first, well, look what Okay, like, are you for real? <laughs> you went through campus, now you're quitting a full-time employment to make pillows. Yeah. But so far, so good. What would you tell people out there, like the young entrepreneurs who are doing startups? This is really fun to just keep doing that. <laughs> uh -huh. um, I would advise you and urge you to move on. What, what you really desire to do, just even if you fall, wake up, dust yourself, and just move on. Yes. 
Did you ever get to a point uh, in this business that you wanted to give up? Yes, yes, yes. What, what happened then? You have, you know, uh, online, you actually don't know these people, okay? So they're going to place their orders. So you'll invest your money. You'll buy the fiber, you'll do everything, your time and everything. So you try to reach this person. They're not there to... To pick up their orders. Exactly. And if I wrote here, Mary Mwekali, who else, who each other client will I get? No one. Called? I'm sure there are many Mary Mwekali. Exactly. But, <laughs> <laughs> but they didn't order that. Exactly. And of course, for you to find, wow, so you've gone through that for a couple of times? Yes, yes, yes. So what do you do? You just change the branding when somebody else orders? No. I just make sure I tell you, you're going to give me between 30% to 50% deposit. Or before, when exactly. I'm making the order, yes. at least I pay half. That makes, that makes sure that I'm also committed. Exactly. Ah. Yes. And this has been a pleasure. And thank you so much for reaching out to us and coming on to the show. Thank and you. And this is a, a good gesture of, you know, live your dream. If employment is not for you and you want to really do something else, yes. go ahead and do it. This is a different fabric. Exactly, yeah. This is velvet? No. Yeah, that, yes, that is velvet. It's just that the normal throw seat pillow. Uh, the front one here, it's yeah. written home. That one is the one which you, you put on the seat. So I do a couple, not just uh, this. The throws. Yeah, exactly. Okay. And bed pillows, like the one that is here. Here, here is the queen. Yes. I'd like that. <laughs> <laughs> This has been Creative of the Week. Thank you so much, Anne. I think I've said thank you a couple of times now. <laughs> thank you so much, Anne. Uh, we're taking a very short commercial break. When we come back, we're going to be on Spoken Up. Don't go too far. We'll be right back. How comes Gamina Zitema Masamaref Bila Kunywa Maj? Atu kuwa ipatangsa si wote. So, that is the way love it is. Kunambia, niache dota. Nika kusema, Mafans wa God, wate church Sunday. Ah yes! So if Rian runs the world, mwambia save you boy. If God runs the world, mwambia to call you boy. If the devil runs the world, then you boy alikuwa ready kwa illuminati. Kose ya kwa understand that God you pata na daily bread. Kose ya kwa illuminati, kwa na sinda Oscar, uyu boy alishinda jazz.